Hey, beloved, shalom, shalom, it's me, Angel. I'm going to be reading chapter 16 out of Genesis. But is she 16? And Sarai, out of the Hallelujah Scriptures. And Sarai, Abram's wife, had borne him no child, and she had a Mithrite female servant whose name was Hagar. And Sarai said to Abram, See, Hashem has kept me from bearing children. Please go unto my female servant. It might be that I am built up by her. And Abram listened to the voice of Sarai. And Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar, her female servant, the Mitzrite, and gave her to her husband, Abram, to be his wife. After Abram had dwelt ten years in the land of Canaan, and went into the into Hagar, and she conceived. And when she saw that she had conceived, her mistress was despised in her eyes. And Sarai said to Abram, My wrong be upon you. I gave my female servant into your bosom, and when she saw that she had conceived, I was despised in her eyes. Let Hashem judge between you and me. And Abram said to Sarai, See, your female servant is in your hand. Do to her what is good and see and she fled forgive me I'm gonna start verse 6 from the beginning and Abram said to Sarai see your female servant is in your hand do to her what is good in your eyes and Sarai treated her harshly and she fled from her presence and the messenger of Hashem found her by a spring of water in the wilderness, by the spring on the way to Shur. And he said, Hagar, Sarah's female servant, sent... Lost my place. There it is. And he said, verse 8, and he said, Hagar, Sarai's female servant, where have you come from, and where are you going? And she said, I am fleeing from the presence of Sarai, my mistress. And the messenger of Hashem said to her, Return to your mistress and humble yourself under her hand. And the messenger of Hashem said to her, I am going to increase your seed greatly to numerous to be counted. <clears throat> and the messenger of Hashem said to her, See, you are conceiving and bearing a son, and shall call his name Jishmael, because Hashem has heard your affliction. And he is to be a wild man, his hand against every one, and every one's hand against him, and dwell over against all his brothers. And she called the name of Hashem, who spoke to her, You are the El who sees. For she said, Even here have I seen after him who sees me. That is why the well was called Beer. <laughs> uh, Lehi and Hagar bore Abram a son, and Abram called the name of his son, whom Hagar bore, Yishmael. And Abram was eighty-six years old when Hagar bore Yishmael to Abram. That was chapter 16, beloved. Shalom, shalom. I'm getting tired, beloved.